The mid-1960s was a period of heavy political and racial upheaval, and when the African-American population finally did begin making their numbers felt in the martial arts community, they weren't exactly greeted with open arms. Many African-Americans felt that judging was biased to say the least, and if a point of contention was raised, the black competitor had little or no representation to plead his case. It was around this time the two African-American black belts met, became friends, and decided to work together to change the way the African-American competitors were being treated in tournament karate. Their names are Steve Sanders and Donnie Williams, and this is the story of how they led the way for the African-American martial artists into the world of competition karate. The Chinese population had its martial arts icon in Bruce Lee, the Europeans in Jean Claude Van Damme, the Japanese, Toshiro Mufin, and the Americans, Chuck Norris. While the vast African American community has had incredibly talented martial artists, they've never really been marketed by the entertainment industry. Steve and Donnie hatched a plan they would open the first African-American karate school in the United States. Joined by five other black belts, they leased a boarded-up commercial building in Riot Torn, South Central Los Angeles, and tapped into the ghetto streets to recruit the school's raw talent. It was not smooth sailing. And before long, they found out that street tough is not enough in the martial arts. What they ended up with was a bunch of loose cannons, but what they needed to make their mark was a disciplined fighting team that could win the team trophy at the International Karate Championships. Their personal storylines bring compelling drama to the picture. For Steve, it's the resolution of being estranged from his father because of a problem with the law as a young man that changed the course of his life. And for Donnie, the martial arts proved to be the vehicle that helped resolve his deep-seated hatred and bring him to peace with his white brothers and himself.